Apparently this video is being brought to you by Buck Rogers and the 21st century. Okay, maybe not. Anyways, this is the fogger atomizer I've been using on Hollywood sets since the COVID began to disinfect the set. Let's talk about the gun first. Okay, so the gun usually sells for 45 to like 80 bucks, depending on availability. I put a link down in the description there down below to the most current best offer I could possibly find. Anyways, the gun is completely cordless. It is rechargeable. It comes with a lithium battery that is already built into the device. Basically, you plug it in. Uh, it takes about an hour to charge, give or take. And under normal use, like turning it off and on, uh, disinfecting the set before the crew arrives, disinfecting the set at lunchtime, and then also disinfecting the set at the end of the day, typically I'll get about like two days, sometimes three days of use before I have to charge it up again. It does have a green light that comes on when you turn it on. It also has a power knob right here that uh, adjusts like how, how far the fog is gonna come out, whether it's two feet, four feet, six feet. I usually leave it like somewhere in the middle. What I'm using in the bottle is seventh generation disinfectant. It's bio-friendly, eco-friendly, seventh generation has been around for a while. If you're looking for this on the EPA N list, right, the list of products approved to kill coronavirus, it is listed as Benefect, which the active ingredient is called thymol, and that's derived from thyme, like your, your herb thyme. So it's cool. So it's all bio-friendly, eco-friendly. You get the idea. On the safety data sheet, I believe it's in section eight. Don't quote me, but I believe it's in section eight. Uh, the cool thing about seventh generation is that you do not need to wear respiratory protection under normal use. What they say is that you may wear goggles and you may wear uh, gloves for hand protection if you want to, but they're not requiring it. So it's not mandatory. So that's kind of cool. So once again, bio-friendly, eco-friendly, you get the idea. Anyways, what I've got set up here is a little demo of something I would do like on a prep day. I would work with the prop department uh, to try to see what they're going to have on set. Like, are they going to have tables, chairs, high traffic area, things that people, actors are going to touch to test out the product to see if it's going to damage anything. So wood, plastic, some kind of marble tile, concrete. I know it's not going to damage that. I've done it before. Plastic. So any kind of plastic, you know, just have all this stuff laid out. And then wardrobe department. I've got clothes here, different colors, right? Hey, my Canada fans out there, this one's for you. Anyways, test it out. See how it's going to react to whatever you're spraying it on. In terms of furniture, leather, vinyl, wood, you know, just make sure you're testing out the product before you use it to see what's going to happen. But typically what I would do like on a prep day is basically turn the gun on, right? Hold it about two and a half to three feet over whatever I'm spraying, right? Get the chair, get the bench, get the other two chairs, right? And I'm done. I basically just disinfected this entire area. No need to oversaturate, right? There's no need to get up close and like, you know, millimeters away. Don't have to do that. Just stay about two and a half to three feet away from whatever you're spraying, and you've now disinfected everything. And also this gives me a chance to see what it's gonna do to all these different things, right? Wood, plastic, marble, tile, whatever, cloth, different kind of cloth, polyester, cotton, wool, glass. According to the manufacturer, it dries residue free. I found that to be true. There's no residue left behind, which is pretty awesome. And there you go. On set days, like when I'm actually going to disinfect the set, what I will do is I will come in before the, the crew gets there and I will go over the high traffic areas, right? So door handles, doorknobs, any kind of thing that somebody would push to get through a door, any kind of like countertops and that kind of stuff. What I try to avoid is electronics. So I don't go anywhere near electronics. I would rather give that department like an alcohol pad or a little swab that's usually 80% alcohol, 20% water, give them the alcohol pads and then let them do their thing. They can, they can disinfect their own you know, thing. But if let's say camera department puts their stuff into cases like Pelican cases or the ATA flight cases, which are usually made out of like a fiberglass type material, I believe, 
Uh, I will ask them if it's okay to sanitize, and then I will go ahead and sanitize the outsides of all of their cases. Uh, in terms of like walkies, like walkie talkies and that kind of stuff, better to use the alcohol pads. But for big areas, best bang for the buck, 45 to $80. You can't beat the price for these things on Amazon. And the seventh generation, bio-friendly, eco-friendly, on the EPA end list as Benefect. So it kills coronavirus. And in terms of drying time, if you guys are curious, indoors in a ventilated area, like let's say you popped open a window or a door and you use the product, usually it dries in about four and a half to five minutes. Outdoors, if you're using the product like on lunch tables, right? Like you're going to disinfect the lunch tables before somebody uses them. And then you're going to disinfect them after somebody's been at the table Usually outdoors, uh, the stuff dries in about two minutes, like two, two and a half minutes tops. Uh, and then if it's in the sun, it might even dry faster than that. So that's what I'll do for lunchtime. I do not go near food. I don't want to spray this thing on any food products because obviously it is a disinfectant. Uh, but what I will do is, is before, before crafty puts the stuff onto the table, I will, I will spray down the table to disinfect it, spray down like the backs of the chairs, spray down the chairs themselves in the bathrooms. I will spray down the countertops, the faucet handles. If there are faucet handles, I know now everything is touchless. So like you put your hand underneath the thing, but I will spray like the faucet itself, uh, and that you get the idea, just basically spraying the, the high contact areas, the toilet seat up, down, you know, wear gloves in that situation, but lift up the lid, spray the seat, lift up the seat so you can spray the actual bowl and just basically spray everything down. So that's how I am using the Fogger Atomizer with seventh generation disinfectant. Links are in the description there down below. Happy sanitizing. Stay safe, everybody. Hopefully this coronavirus is over sooner than later, and I will catch you guys on the next one.